Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Moore. This week we are going to be reading a pretty silly story called, If You Ever Want to Bring a Piano to the Beach, Don't. Written by Elise Parsley. If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. If your mom says to get ready to play at the beach, she means with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. She is not talking about the piano. If you roll out the piano anyway, she'll tell you, you'd better not lose it. You'll tell her that it's okay. You will hold on tight to your piano and keep it neat and clean. And you'll even promise to push it to the beach yourself. Cross your heart. That is a pretty big piano for a little kid to be pushing all the way to the beach. I want to stop right here and I want you to predict what do you think is going to happen. I want to hear those predictions. Good. Okay. Let's see. But on the way, your arms will get heavy. Then your legs will get draggy. So you'll find the perfect way to move the piano along. Look at what he did. He propped the piano up on the wagon. So who's really pulling the piano now? His mom. When you feel rested, you will push again. Mom's saying, you better push this. Once you're at the beach, you'll need to make sure the piano still works. Finally, you'll stop for a lunch break. The seagulls will want to share your egg and cheese sandwich. This, you know, is not good for the piano, but you'll know just what to do. Bath time! Uh-oh, look at the piano up here. And then look at what he's about to do. Oh no. Do you think mom's going to be very happy? Do you think that's a good idea for the piano? Probably not. You'll splish, you'll splish. Flash, the piano will bob up and down, and down, and up, then up, and away. Uh-oh, look how far away it is. And out of reach. By now, of course, you'll wish you had played with a boat, or a frisbee, or a shovel at the beach instead of the piano. By now, you'll wish you had played with your baby sister instead of the piano. You'll be so mad, you'll want to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Borrow your brother's fishing line and cast it far, far out to catch your drifting piano. Do you think he's gonna be able to catch it? We'll see. Then when you reel the line in, you might get your piano back. Or you might get, oh, what did he catch? Yeah, a seashell. Or what is it? made it into a boat. What did he make it into there? A frisbee. Or a, what is he using it to do? Dig, so, or a shovel. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. You might lose it. But you never know. 
what you might find. I don't know how happy his mom was about him losing the piano, but I sure did like how he could find one simple thing and play with it in so many ways. I want you to see what you can find around your house that you normally don't play with. And I want you to try to use your imagination and think of all sorts of different ways to use it. Okay, just like he used the shell. All right, I'll see you later, boys and girls. Love and miss you. Bye.